Welcome to another lecture on engineering graphics. Today in this lecture we will learn about projections of lines. Now let us discuss the last case of line. Let us read the statement. A line AB is 40 mm long, line A is perpendicular to VP, endpoints A and B are 30 mm above HP. Endpoint A is 15 mm in front of VP, draw projections and trace of line. So let us understand this case through pictorial view. Now in this statement, he has mentioned in front of VP and above HP. That means line is in the first quadrant. So we have represented the pictorial view of first quadrant. So let us place the line in the quadrant. So he says line AB is perpendicular to VP. So over here line AB is shown perpendicular to VP. Then he says endpoints A and B are 30 mm above HP. So both the endpoints are shown at 30 mm from HP. Then he says endpoint A is 15 mm in front of VP. So endpoint A is 15 mm in front of VP. So distance of only A is given from VP. Distance of endpoint B is not given from VP. So after placing the line in the quadrant according to the statement, now let us draw its two views. Over here, you can see that we are discussing a case in which line is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. So if line is perpendicular to VP, then on that plane, its projection will be a point. And line is parallel to HP, it means its projection on HP will be a straight line of true length. So let us project the front view. So from endpoints B and A, we will get only one projector from front and that will project the image of line as a point and we will call that as front view of the line. And when we will look at this line from this side that is from front then we will see point B first and endpoint A is behind endpoint B. So when we label the front view of this line on vertical plane we have to label A dash inside the bracket because it tells us that A is behind B. After that, observer will change his position to look at the line from top and both endpoints A and B will be projected onto horizontal plane and their projection on the horizontal plane will be connected with the help of straight line. So that will be called as top view of the line and this will be a straight line of true length and we represent top view by small letters A, B. And over here we can see that front view is above top view or we can say top view is just below its front view. Now after representing the projections of this line on vertical plane and horizontal plane we have to talk about the trace of line. Over here he says line is perpendicular to VP. So if, if the line is perpendicular to VP then after its extension it will intersect VP and we will get vertical trace of the line. So it means in this case we have to plot its vertical trace. Now over here one very interesting point we have to note that when we will extend this line uh, so that it should intersect vertical plane in order to obtain its vertical trace then we will find that its extension will intersect its front view only. So we have to say that its front view itself is its vertical trace. So we have seen uh, this particular case through pictorial view. Now let us understand how we can represent this case on paper. So we know that first step is identify the quadrant. So over here it is mentioned in front of VP above HP. So that means quadrant is first. So second step is represent that quadrant. It means what we will do in order to represent first quadrant. We will draw a reference line XY and we will consider space above vertical plane and space below the line as horizontal plane. And we will label VP HP in Gothic style. Then third step is pick a point about which maximum data is given. Now we know that about A the maximum data is given. So let us start with the projections of A first. So we'll mark a reference point on the reference line and we'll call that point as small letter A0. Now let us read the data about A. Over here he says endpoint A is 30 mm above HP. That means we have to show this distance on opposite plane that is VP. So where is VP? VP is over here above reference line. So we'll align our scale with this reference point in vertical position and from this point we'll draw a continuous thin line of 30 millimeters and the end of that projector will be called as 
front view of point A and we will denote that by small letter A dash. Now after that we will read the second data. He says endpoint A is 15 mm in front of VP. So we have to represent this distance on opposite plane that is HP. So we will align our scale with the projector in vertical position and from this reference point we will draw another continuous thin line and that will be of 15 millimeters and we will mark the end of that projector as A because that is representing top view of point A. Now after this we will see the position of line. Now over here he says line is perpendicular to VP. So if line is perpendicular to VP that means we have to represent that perpendicular line on the opposite plane that is HP. So where is HP? HP is over here. So from this end point we will start a perpendicular line of 40 mm which is true length. And we will mark the end of that line as small letter b. So this will represent the top view of the line ab and it is represented by small letter a and small letter b. Now over here we have drawn two length. Why we have drawn two length? Because it is mentioned in the question that endpoints a and b are 30 mm above hp means line is parallel to hp. So if line is parallel to hp it means on hp we have to represent its view as a straight line of true length. So we are ready with its top view. Now let us plot its front view. Over here he says line is perpendicular to VP. Uh, if it is perpendicular to VP it means on VP its projection will be a point. It means the front view of this line AB is a point. So we will make this end of the projector bold and we will label a point over here. Now let us see how we have to label this front view. When we are looking at this line from front we actually see B point first because the end point A is behind B. So when we have to represent its front view we will keep A dash inside the bracket that means A is behind B. So we are ready with the projection of this line. Now let us talk about its trace. Over here he is saying line is perpendicular to VP. So if we will extend this line it will intersect VP and of course we will get vertical trace in this case. And in the vectorial view we have seen that when we will extend this line uh, in order to make it intersect vertical plane then it will intersect its front view only. So its front view will be its trace. So we have to label its front view as its vertical trace. After that we will place all the dimensions. So first of all we will place this 30 millimeter dimension. Then we will place this 20 millimeter dimension. And after that we have to also show the true length of the line. And you can see we have placed all these dimensions by using chain dimension. So with this we are done with the, all the cases of projections of lines. I hope these cases are clear to you. Thank you very much.